one of the country's most popular actresses, Debbie Reynolds, married one of the country's most popular male vocalists, Eddie Fisher. Debbie and Eddie, the newspapers told us, had captured the hearts of America. The Fishers are in their early 20s. Both made their mark the hard way. Debbie was discovered eight years ago by a movie scout when she won a Miss Burbank bathing beauty contest. Eddie was discovered about the same time by Eddie Cantor, who heard him singing at Grossinger's. Hi, Ed. How are you? Evening, Debbie. How's the weather out your way, Eddie? Oh, it's just fine. It's a cool California evening. And the sun has been shining all day. Uh, Eddie, when our person-to-person -person cameras visited you about two years ago, you were living alone in a New York hotel, and we could hear some fans yelling up from the street below. I gather that doesn't happen in this house, does it? <laughs> well, <laughs> not, not, not as much as then, Ed. Uh, and uh, come to think of it, I, I, I sort of miss it. Well, just where are we in the house now? Uh, I thought I saw a big barbecue just behind there a moment ago. Yes. And this is the playhouse, the big playhouse. And this is our barbecue, the first time we've ever been out here. But our swimming pool was just finished, and that's why we're here sort of looking around. Oh, good. Could we see the pool? Oh, yes. Sure. This that, is, uh, that, that wall just behind you there, uh, what is it? Well, it's a, uh, it's a playhouse, actually. It's a very, very old, early American playhouse. We haven't actually figured out what it is. <laughs> These are some things we uh, brought out from New York. And uh, oh my. you know what this is. The Coca-Cola company saw that we had plenty on hand for <laughs> all the time. Would well, you like a party something? Thank you. I always like it. <laughs> Leave it here, otherwise. I'll take one. You can carry it? All well, right. now tell me, oh, there's the pool. Yes, right out this way is the swimming pool. It's just finished. Looks smoky, but that's just because it's all warm. It's hot enough to jump in, even uh -huh. with cool, brisk air. Well, it looks just about big enough for the two of you. Yeah, just, just about <laughs> big enough for us. Well, where's, the where's the house you live in, other than the playhouse? Well, right down this way, Ed. Uh-huh. Well, I tell you, I'm, we're just tenants here. We don't know everything we really should know because it, it is so beautiful. I know some of these trees are 350 years old. Uh -huh. That's our bedroom over there. And on this side is the guest house, and this is the uh, living room and the kitchen. Oh, no, the dining room and the kitchen. <laughs> and this is the living room. And we're going into the entrance hall now. Uh, Debbie, uh, tell me, do you do very much cooking yourself? Well, uh, just when I have to. <laughs> <laughs> do you give very many dinner parties? Well, we have a few of our friends over. I'd like to show you the living room. Good. Right down here. This That's is our dining room. Oh, I get all confused. <laughs> this is the dining room. Well, anyway, it's a very attractive room. I'm not used to television. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very attractive room anyway. Uh, mm -hmm. Now where do we go? Well, now we go to the living room, finally. You've both had a pretty good run of success. Um, is it a problem working and living with a star? Debbie's very funny at any time at all, any time during the day or at night. She, <laughs> like one, one night she came down to uh, Coke Time, my television show, afterward, and I introduced it to the audience. And uh, as she walked over to the microphone, I started singing to her. I sang, uh, I said, uh, Your eyes are the eyes of a woman in love. And oh, how they give you away. <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Anytime, it was funny when it happened. It's always uh, Thank you very much, Eddie and Debbie, for letting us come and visit you. Thanks a lot.